Well, the wait is almost over, Pies fans, as tonight we officially kick off the year with the 2016 season launch here at the Glass House, proudly brought to you by Blue Star Global Logistics. Well, after some promising signs throughout the NAB Challenge, we're all excited about this year and we're hoping to return to the September action. The players are arriving now on the black carpet. Let's see how they're feeling about season 2016. Here with Brent McCaffrey, mate, you must be absolutely fain to get out there this year. Yeah, man, it's been a while between drinks, so uh, to get a little bit of a taste of it in the NAB Cup was awesome, so um, hanging out for the real stuff now. You know, got out there for, for a couple of runs and um, body felt really good, got through, and uh, as I said, man, I, I just can't wait for the real stuff to start now. We've done all the hard work and, and put all the hard yards in, so yeah, boys are all ready to go. Now, the last time I interviewed you on the black car, but we found out there was a little calf on the way, so when's little calf uh, arriving? Yeah, not too, uh, not too long to go now, so we're thinking uh, early May. Um, it's a big baby, so it's uh, about three or four weeks ahead of schedule, so um, yeah, not long now, mate. Very exciting times. Well, mate, congratulations, and uh, on behalf of all the Pies supporters, mate, we can't wait to see you back out there in 2016. Well done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Here with James Age. Now, mate, it must have been great not only to play one game for Collingwood finally, but to play two games. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, yeah, running out the boys properly in, in the NAB Cup. It's, um, it's good to get used to playing with them all and get a bit of a taste of the crowd and the fans and the support. So yeah, it's been good and hopefully it's given me a taste of what's to come for the year. Now, Dust, last year you had a little bit of a, a slow start to the year. You came off a toe injury in the pre-season. So how's this pre-season looking for you? Yeah, it's been totally different, hasn't it? So this time last year I was in rehab and... In a, probably in a moon boot this time so um, yeah it's been really different almost surreal to do six five six months of full solid training um, without incident so touch wood I'm, uh, I'm injury free at the moment and loving it. We saw some fantastic footy during the NAB challenge what's the feeling like amongst the team? Yeah look I think there's a bit of a sentiment that goes around like if you're not um, you know if you're not optimistic in March then you know something's going seriously wrong so I think you know, we, we've had a really good preparation, so we're obviously optimistic, but um, we're very aware. Tonight we, we launched the season, so it hasn't even started yet. So we're prepared. We've done all the work over the last four or five months, but, um, but we know that we're, um, we're very aware that we're zero wins and zero losses at the moment. Well, mate, it was only the NAB challenge, but we saw you taking some great marks, kicking a few goals, and we hope to see that throughout the season. So good luck. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. We're here with a man who we haven't seen a lot of over the last few years, but he's had a pretty good pre-season. What's happening? Yeah, had a good pre-season. Obviously, had a little hiccup about no, it was three weeks ago now, but um, we've got fully trained for the last week now, a week and a half, and I'm um, feeling really good. And um, you know, if everything goes to plan, I'll be well and truly ready to go. And the big question, mate, when are we going to finally see you in action? And which end of the ground do you think you'll be playing? I'll be playing back, uh, and I'm hopefully going to be playing in two weeks. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> Here with Adam Shalort, mate, tell us how it felt to finally pull the jumper on, even though it was an ab challenge. Uh, play your first game, kick your first goal, must have been fantastic. Yeah, mate, it was a pretty surreal feeling for me. It's been a long time uh, between drinks, really. I haven't played since last year, and, and I want to you know, make amends for my last performance last year. I played an absolute stinker, and you know, to come out and finally pull on the new jumper uh, was an amazing achievement for me and my family. I'm so proud to be a Collingwood football player. How have you settled into life here at Collingwood? Yeah, it, it was, it's been easy. I mean, the guys have been welcoming from the start. You know, that was the biggest thing, the most intimidating thing was coming in, being new. And I've said before, but it was like going to school again. And um, that's exactly what it was like for me. And, you know, I asked my partner, the, the week leading up to my first day was a um, nervous wreck. But um, as soon as I've, as soon as I come in, the guys have been welcoming, the coaches have been fantastic. And they've all welcomed me with open arms. And, and that's to go to say with all the other new guys as well. So it's been fantastic, yeah. Well, mate, good luck for this year. It was great to see you out there, like I said, playing first game, kicking those goals. We're really excited about 2016 and we're all really excited about you being at the Pies, so well done. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap from the black carpet here at the 2016 season launch, proudly brought to you by Blue Star Global Logistics. 2016 is looking like a good year and hopefully come September or October, we've got another one of those cups to put in the cabinet. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Go Pies.